Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I think now it's okay. Yes, yes, it is okay. Please go ahead. Okay. Uh, on behalf of the Turkish Academy of Science, I would like to extend my greetings from Turkey, from Ankara. Uh, I would like to thank all academic partners, especially Interacademy Partnership, Association of Academies and Societies of Science in Asia, and Pakistan Academy of Science for their contribution to the organization of the webinar. I also thanks for the title chosen at a time when we deeply felt the effects of pandemic even in the remotest part of the world. Uh, here is my presentation plan, but uh, I would like to start with uh, my gratitude to healthcare workers who took part in the fight against in the pandemic uh, in the world coordinately from the beginning of the uh, global outbreak. This is a long journey. We have to struggle to all survive. I wish Allah mercy on those who die due to the pandemic, especially healthcare workers. First of all, I, would, I want to talk about the extraordinary situation we are in. Then I will briefly summarize the activities of Turkish Academy of Science, as we have done in this period. Finally, I would like to touch upon the role of science academies in scientific collaboration in the pandemics and further issues. Human Human beings have come to play by using the resources provided to them carelessly, unfortunately. They have damaged especially to humans and including other beings in the habitat. The negative impact of each damaged other beings on the habitat couldn't be compensated and recovered easily. The process has resulted as disaster of the ecological balance. It is not possible to, it is not possible for environmental studies to normalize ecosystem damage in short time because of countries conflict of interest for many years. The deterioration of ecological balance has led to decrease in biodiversity and the unbalanced distribution of resources in the world, as well as excessive consumption. As a result, supply demand balance has been disrupted in terms of covering the basic needs of individual, which is the main indicator of human welfare. This engagement from natural life as a result of industrialization, industrialization and urbanization has narrowed the production areas. This situation has revealed different production and stocking methods and production techniques that threaten the health of women and other creatures as a result of commercial concerns. COVID-19 con continues to shake the world. A host of prominent world personalities, the high and mighty, rich and poor, sick and healthy, young and old, religious and irreligious, to all. This is a classical reminder that we are all equal, regardless of our social status, culture, religion, occupation, or financial station. This disease is perhaps reminding us that we should treat each other equally. We are in the same ship. Throughout this virus, we have been reminded of our limitation of knowledge and capacity. Now we know clearly that we need each other. Airports and borders have been shut down, but the virus has defied every restriction and reminds us that we are all connected and something that affects one person will most certainly affect others. 
The state borders that we have put up have little value as this virus doesn't need a passport. And it has changed our behaviors and lifestyles too. Suddenly, the entire universe has come to Krinkling Health because of the virus. It has the power to stop so many agendas, even for the most powerful people. The most important difference of the COVID-19 pandemic from past pandemics is the multiplier effects of speed of transparent transportations and communication in the spirit of the pandemic and the implementation of the, of the measure taken. The reflection of the social change created by the global outbreak should be read well. The differences and impact areas of this pandemic can be evaluated properly when a health analysis of past pandemic periods is known. As mentioned, Shim very already, uh, talking with the disinformation is so important issue in the present. Determining post-pandemic period strategies based on historical evaluation will make it possible to perform the normalization process in a healthier way. It is expected that the first quarantine process that societies go through with the pandemic and the struggle process in the field of health will have a long-term economic, political, social and commercial effects on the normalization process in the post-pandemic period. As a result of the traumatic effects of this period, individuals have had the opportunity to question their attitude to life and their past. Individuals will experience differentiation in family and human relationship, consumption, habits, and spending practice expectation from life and career planning in the post-pandemic period. During this period, high-tech and bioinformatics and artificial intelligence disciplines get the opportunity to apply in so many different fields urgently from health science to agriculture, from trade to education. Cuba, as National Academy of Turkey, has conducted various research and announcements from the beginning of this global outbreak. Honor, principal, and associate members of Cuba have taken places in the Coronavirus Scientific Council of Turkey for struggling with the COVID-19 and in many different projects related to this pandemic. Also vaccination researches too. The main principle of Tuba is multidisciplinary and thematic methods in scientific and academic works. To do that, it has promoted public, published uh, many generic works in various scientific fields. While we are aware of the global damage of this pandemic, Tuba started its scientific works for informing people with basic scientific knowledge in this digitally polluted issue. Misinformation in social media and similar channels has negatively affected the fight against the uh, COVID-19 pandemic. At this point, Cuba had to contribute to reliable data flow through scientific reports, books, and information sharing through social media accounts as an open source. We edited Cuba assessments report on COVID-19 global outbreak with a wide range of authors, and it was published on 17th April 2021. 20, the report has been updated six times periodically in Turkish regarding the developments. The latest version of the report has been translated, published in English too and shared with partner academics without losing time, transparency and reaching the health information are properties for our academy. To the assessment report on COVID-19 global outbreak that prepared in the light of available data under the guidance of the above issues consists of scientific works about process management, 
analysis and prediction of our countries and scientific studies of other countries. We have also provided a special reports on pandemic of the, to the presidency uh, and minister of health of Turkey. Of course, other related policymakers distributed to other related policymakers too. Due to ongoing feature of the COVID-19 process and the necessity to constantly update in text we receive from scientists, the efforts have been given place to include the most up-to-date data as much as possible in the report. Tuba working groups on public health, food and nutrition, and sustainable development, finance and environment also made important contribution to the preparation of these reports. In this context, in the first part of the study, the history of pandemic and important definition that should be known are mentioned. These sections also include the current situation about COVID-19 outbreaks and Turkey's existing health infrastructure. In the second part, which contains the epidemic process management about COVID-19, the interaction in other science disciplines is given in detail. In the third part, the future projection of the economic and social effects of the epidemic with the similar, similar uh, cases in history has been put forward. In the fourth part, current data tracking platforms and useful internet resources are presented for the researchers' benefit. In the fifth part, besides COVID-19 reports of the World Science Academies, some COVID-19 research and projects conducted by TUBA members are included too. In the appendix, there are other internet resources and reports that are thought to be useful. The book, namely, Anatomy of the Pandemic, the Future of Human Society, has published in Turkish and translated to reflection on the pandemic in the future of the world in English as a uh, first post-corona book in Turkey with more than uh, 1,000 uh, pages. The book consists of 49 thematic articles. There is a wide range of projects for post-pandemic period from healthcare to education, information technologies to political science, economics and international relations, change in the trade style to support and entertainment sectors, artificial intelligence to psychological analysis, environment and agriculture to space and polar studies after the post-pandemic term. Tuba reports on climate change and public health in Turkey also has published in Turkish and English. It has comprehensively analyzed the situation of Turkey in the vital areas of sustainable development, climate change, and public health. To a COVID-19 global outbreak reports on judicial change and interactions has been published in Turkish and English. Report analyzes the effect of COVID-19 outbreak and constitutional law administrative law, penal law, tax law, and international law, civil law, commercial law, labor and social security law, enforcement and bankruptcy law in five chapters. All these reports and books were prepared with help of following scientists, experts, including experts from Cuba, working groups of academics such as public health, food, nutrition, and sustainable development, finance, and environment working groups, Cuba Young Academy and Coronavirus Scientific Committee. Scientists and academicians work together in this report for ensuring to receive clear and accurate information about the pandemic in Turkey. Work together, fight together. COVID-19 process COVID-19 process has shown that it's not possible for humanity to act independently and carelessly. 
the progress of humanity will be all together and in cooperation. Especially the situation where developed countries fall in the production and supply of the basic medical protection materials is an indication that each country may need each other within solidarity. The pandemic shows us there is no self-sufficient condition for countries. It is obvious that the issue should be addressed from a comprehensive perspective, considering all nations and countries when creating a roadmap for future of humanity. In this context, the scientists learned societies, science academies should draw a framework of cooperation encompassing all people. Especially developed countries should be more generous to provide inclusive health services in underdeveloped countries. More proactive measures should be developed for the world disease risk map, and the disease should remain in the region where they have emerged with strict monitoring. Science academies and umbrella organizations should play an active role in all this process. As Cuba, we gave our analysis and suggestions during the 2020 summit of G20 countries, sub-organization Science 20, which consists of G20 science academies. Science academies are the institutions that host the most respected scientists of the countries. The importance of scientifically based policies in the fight against COVID-19 pandemic is better understood now. Thus, it is possible to say that the importance of science academies has increased in recent years all over the world when considering all developments. The whole world has to fight the pandemic with extraordinary effort. Extraordinary effort is not sufficient without solidarity. Making this struggle healthy is only possible with cooperation. Otherwise, services such as vaccination and treatment reach all people living in the world asymmetrically. The way to prevent this inhuman situation is through science diplomacy and scientific cooperation. Science academies to which the leading scientists of their countries are members should take a leading role in establishing this collaboration. We hope that the cooperation between scientist institutions such as science academies, universities, research centers will support world peace by contributing to the benefit and development of humanity and we express our gratitude for the efforts made in this regard. Data sharing, providing reliable data and information security are on the agenda as a difficult issue in the field of science and all know that data is valuable. However, the misuse of data should also prevent it. The reliability, interpretation and use of data is necessary with a multidisciplinary perspective due to its historical, financial, cultural and demographic differences in terms of different scientific disciplines. In addition, countries differ in terms of human and natural resources. As Cuba, we have a high opinion of that the proposed recommendations for recovering from COVID-19 should be reliable, applicable, objective, and accord with humanitarian values. Without sharing knowledge, a vaccination and immunization is not valid in the uh, state borders. It is necessary to work together, fight together in the world. While ending my words, I would like to express my gratitude to organization team for the efforts I wish to reach healthy years when we could have these kind scientific meetings face-to-face -face as soon as possible. Thank you for your patience.